Hi everyone, it's Forsythia with Cacti on White and welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, I'm glad you found me. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, I'm going to finally pot up my feral cactus that I got about a week ago. If you're interested in seeing this quick potting video, keep watching. Okay guys, the reason why I held off from potting these plants that I got about a week ago, and I did do an unboxing video or a show and tell, whatever. If you haven't watched that video, I will link it, uh, go back, you know, and check that one out. So, you know, you'll see these plants, but I was waiting on my pumice to arrive. So I use uh, pumice, which is hard to find locally and Tori's filming me. So drop a cactus emoji down below and give her a high five and a hello with that cactus emoji. But I ordered my pumice from Bunzai Jack out of Florida. So it just showed up today. So Tori, if you can come in close and we can show them the mix that we use for uh, the feral cactus. So that's a grainy or gritty, I should say. This is a gritty mix for cactus and succulents. And then I amend it with pumice. So I'll show this. And Tori will show you guys what the mix looks like. It works really, really, really well. So I'm going to go ahead and pot. I've potted up one, which I will show you guys already. Doesn't it look great? So this one I just potted up and I have two more. So I'm going to go ahead and pot up another one. And I thought I would include you guys in the potting video because a lot of people really love potting videos but I find them kind of boring and mundane. I guess because I, I do so much potting in the spring and the summer, and even in the off season, sometimes I'm potting. So, and it's hard to do, it's hard to pot and talk and film. It's a lot going on. So I typically don't do, I've kind of steered away from doing a lot of potting videos, but I know people love those. So. You know, I got a lot of stuff to repot this spring and summer, so I'll start filming more of those. And I'm gonna run out of uh, my mix here um, for these. So I think I'm gonna put this guy right here. So I'm gonna move this one, hopefully without hurting it and myself. I'm gonna move this guy out of the way or right here. And I'm gonna take the rubber band off. They pack these really, really nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the roots out, expose. And as big as these cacti are, they have very small roots. So yeah, I'm hoping to get some growth out of them this growing season. So they will, the circumference at least will fill this pot up. So let me see, I might have to cut this. Okay guys, I'm back. I've taken each one out of the, taken the paper paper towel off the roots and uh, I've already put this one into the pot to see if I got it high enough, my mix, and I think so. You know, people often ask me, how do you handle cactus with all these spines? Well, as you can see, I use the spines to move it around, but I typically handle it from the root ball. Someone asked me that in the comments on a recent video. I handle the cacti from the root ball. Sometimes I have tweezers or something like that where when I position it in the pot like this and I got it where I want it and I use the spine to hold it just like that. Or if I have, you know, tweezers or tongs, I use those and then I just get my dirt. And I say dirt, but I mean soil, mix, whatever. I just always say dirt. So I get my mix and then I just go around it so it can stand up on its own, right? So I kind of even it out so it'll stand up and I don't have to hold it, support it anymore. So I can probably, and I usually look over the top to make sure that I have it balanced or how I want it positioned here, right? So I do that and see, voila, it stands on its own. 
So, and I've been working with cacti for seven or, well, probably, no, not seven, probably 10 or 11 years now, probably longer, actually. Um, so I think it kind of started in 2009, my fascination with these plants. So, yeah, then I just go ahead and finish off filling it up, just like that. Just like that. And then, you know, I check it for position. I'm gonna do this, make sure there's no air pockets. You know, if I need to move it, you know, you have to be careful because you don't want to get stuck by these guys, right? So I kind of position it like that. And this one looks really, really good. I might just put just a little bit more. These will be outdoors, so I'm not gonna put any top dressing and this is a nice looking mix anyway so since these will be outdoors i won't put any like white rocks like i traditionally typically do because when they're outdoors the white rocks will tend to discolor they'll get like brown from the weather so i don't waste them too much for outdoor plants unless i get some big um uh, you know the landscaping type that can handle outdoors but some of the white rocks that i get are kind of just decorative so they're not really good for outdoors so yeah these won't get the white rock treatment but that is it for this one it is potted up nicely they're probably a little thirsty they've been laying on my my kitchen island for probably five or six days as i waited for my mix so here is this one it's a pharaoh, what is that, Tori? Staniensis, I don't know. I, I butcher names, that, that, that's that one. Again, watch the video. I talk a little bit more about the plants and I give you the names. I still butcher the names, but I give you the names. So I'm gonna stick the name tag here, uh, like that. So I don't forget what this is. So I have one more and then we'll close this out, but I gotta go and get some more supplies. So we'll be right back. Okay, I got new soil. I went and got me some more of my mix because I ran out and I've already positioned this guy in the pot. This one's a little smaller and this is the smallest of the three, even though it's not that small. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill this one in. I think I got it positioned. Um, let me get a scoop of this. I love this mix. It is definitely super fast draining. So I don't have to worry about, you know, root rot and things like that with these. It'll run right through. And the pot does have a drainage hole. So obviously, right, I'm covered. Well, this one will be a little tricky because it's, it's filling up the circumference really of this, but it'll be fine. These don't grow that fast. So we're good in this pot probably for a little bit actually. So now it's standing pretty much on its own like I talked about. Um, I kinda wanna turn it because I noticed a scratch on this planter, but I won't since I already got it in here. Oh God, I really want to though. I think I will. Let's see if we can turn this guy. I want the good part to be the pretty variegation to not be disturbed by a scratched up planter. So I'm going to scoot this over and you see I'm handling this with the spines because I'm a G. That's why I can do this. I can do this. So let's fill this in. I brought it out up a little bit actually when I did that. So go in a little bit more with the mix and position it there. See if we can stay here. All right. I'm almost done. And I have so many things to repot this spring. So I bought, I think seven, eight gallons of the gritty mix. 
that I use and I bought about the same amount of pumice. I have two huge bags of pumice. And let me tell you, pumice ain't cheap. Pumice is not cheap. But I just can't find it here and I don't want to use perlite. I don't want to use perlite in these cacti. So I had to invest in pumice, ordering it. The shipping was free, thank goodness, because it is heavy but uh, I had to make the investment for pumice. So I do that, like I said, to get make it shift down, and if there's any air pockets, that'll help clear those up. So I really just position it, and I usually take a couple peeks to make sure I got it like I want it in the planter. So yeah, just position it, and I haven't gotten stuck one time. Ouch. <laughs> I spoke too soon. It just got me. But that was my fault. That's because I was pap tapping. Papping. I was papping. I was tapping. And boom. But yeah, I usually don't get stuck. So. I've been doing this a long time. So I feel like when I get stuck, it's my fault. You know? Because I know how to handle cacti. I've been doing it too long. Getting stuck is for amateurs. Getting stuck is for amateurs, Tori. Give me a thumb, give me a thumbs up for this video if you're an amateur. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. There you have it. I'm done. I've potted up my three beauties. My three new beauties. Got to put this one here is a uh, emery eye. There you go. I I have another one of these, a small one, in my collection already that I've had for years, which probably could use a repot. But all right, so I got this guy, this beauty, and this beauty. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close the video out. I'm going to clean, finish cleaning up and dusting these planters and the plants. And I may give them a little water. I may wait a week. Um, I don't know. They look a little thirsty from the roots, so I may give them a sip of water. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you like these types of video, consider subscribing to the channel. It'll really help me out. Um, if you enjoyed this particular video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload new videos. Share my videos with your planty friends. It really helps me out. That's my favorite phrase. It really helps me out. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. All right, guys, here they are all cleaned up. Ready for prime time. Aren't they gorgeous? I love them. Look at that variegation. I love the white variegation. Hey guys, probably hear Gia. She's in the background walking, trying to get attention, trying to be on the video. Gia, my grand dog. All right, guys. Sad to show you the final. If it'll focus. There we go. Really, really nice.